Welcome to Cap Kid 71's Survival Island. So, this guy is the same person who made that maze zipple map that I featured in one of my videos recently. So, I saw that this was released and I'm like, hey, I know that guy now. I decided to download this and here we go. I'm on his survival island and apparently there's ocean monuments. I couldn't really see them. I turned off my shaders to see if I could see them, but I, I couldn't see any ocean monuments. So shaders come back on. But what this does have is a huge cave system to explore. So I'm just going to be surviving on this island for a little bit. And wanting to explore the cave system. And if I can find the ocean monuments, that would be great. But for now, I can't see them. So I'm going to be doing just some basic survival on this island. Oh my god, this is literally just one gigantic chunk. Hey, wait a minute. Is that a ship down there? Hey, there's a ship down there. Huh. How the heck am I going to get to that? Oh my god, is that a second island over there? Holy crap. I have discovered a second island. Now, if only I could build a gigantic bridge there with the very teeny tiny amount of materials I have. Oh my goodness. I just found the inside. That is some crazy shadering right there. Whoa. Ho ho, you guys are trying to shoot me. I don't know if I'm ready for this commitment yet, but I am mining down slowly into this cave. Uh oh, I fell right down into here. I was not ready yet. Oh boy. This is dangerous. I mean, I'm very close to spawn, so I guess it doesn't matter that much, but very did Oh! Look at that. An actual light source. It is so dark. Oh my goodness. I take playing Minecraft without shaders for granted now that I have with shaders on. Is so much darker. Oh, okay. That was interesting. Good thing I'm not playing on hardcore. <laughs> oh my god, my tree's gigantic. Oh my god, there are so many mobs. What is going on? Oh my god. If it was for those creepers, then those would all still be there. <laughs> Apparently mob griefing is off. Wow, that... That is insane how many just absolutely just spawned there. Oh my god, there's so much gold right here. Well, I'm glad that I finally got torches. That, that was a real struggle. Now I can just hold these in my offhand and I'll be able to actually see. But wow, there is a, a crap ton of gold down here. Oh my god, and look what else I just found. I just found diamonds. This is awesome. Okay, well, I've gotten... A little bit farther ahead now, I've built a bunch of slab platforms now that I can just run along this island on, so that's going to save a lot of time. Also planted a crap ton of samplings and expanding this a little more with some dirt so that I can get to that island, which is just out of my render distance, but it's somewhere if I go to the edge of these planks, and it gets real dark as you can see. So I should probably actually be holding my torch now instead of the sampling. Oh my god, this tree has a beehive? What the heck exactly do I do with that? Now we got bees. Do I just leave this tree here? Maybe I'll just I'll just leave that tree here. Uh oh, I think these bees are homeless now. Another tree grew it and now you don't have a beehive to go to. Where, where do you think you're gonna go? You got nothing. Okay, I think I'm ready to go over there. I can make a lot more slabs if I need to. In fact, you know, why Why shouldn't I, I over-prepare? Why don't I, I just use, take the rest of these and just make a crap ton of slabs? This way, I'll have no way of not having enough slabs there. Now I feel better, a little bit better for my, myself. So, I think it is time to start bridging over to this island. And because these are slabs... Mobs should not be able to spawn on them if I am correct, because I do not believe mobs spawn on slabs. 
There we go. I've made it to this island. Ho ho ho. I have unlocked jungle stuff. Oh crap. Oh, I didn't bring my axe. Alright. This is what you get for bringing a bow to a pickaxe fight. Oh god. Oh no, not more of them. No, my stuff! Rick. Okay, apparently I was way wrong. Mobs definitely spawn on here. Ah, oh, great. Oh, thank goodness, a bunch of my stuff is just floating. <laughs> Some of it was sinking before when it would drop in the water. So I, I was like, oh my god, is my stuff sinking? It's gonna be all sunk. Oh my god, I didn't come all the way here just to get killed again. Please go away. You know, why didn't I think of this a second ago? You know, I'm going back. I could just make a boat. I can just make a boat. I don't know why a boat just did not cross my mind and why I decided to make a bridge and run over it where a million creatures can kill me. I mean, the only use for it is guiding me back to the island, but I generally know the direction. I mean, you can't really see it at night as much, but at daytime, you can definitely see where it is. Oh my god, I don't know why I didn't think of this a second ago. Oh my god, there's a secret chest under this island. Oh my goodness, I just found a beacon. Oh my god, wait. Is that like a temple down there? Oh my goodness, guys. I think I found a, a temple. You can kind of see if I kind of glitch on the top here. I think that's custom built as well. Oh, wait a minute. Is that a second? There's two temples. There's one over here. And there's one over there. Oh my god. Yeah, this room has a lot to explore. Okay, there's some sort of structure straight below me. I'm gonna go straight down. I have torches with me. I also got my doors. So I can immediately place these down once I get to whatever this is to get some air. No. Go away. I have official business to attend to. All right, what do we hi have here? What? Really? I I came all the way down here for. I mean, I got armor, but just a leather tunic. Oh boy, I was a uh, expecting something a lot better, huh? Okay, I'm not sure what's going on with the world generation. It's probably because this was a, a bedrock map, and I'm playing in Java, so it's probably why. It's not exactly the same. Okay, I thought this was like a full-on shipwreck, not just a half a ship. Come on, there's got to be something down here that I can explore and collect loot on, or... Oh, no, maybe? I need air. Yes, a chest! Oh my god, it's just a bunch of food. I mean, food's great and all, but it's not exactly what I... I need at this exact moment. You know, it could be that with the world generation, or I see his village right there. It could be that Mr. Map Creator. I'll have to check that out in a second. Used a, a world editing software maybe to generate like an ocean here, and we're not supposed to go outside of the waters because obviously then it wouldn't be like. Survival Islands, then. Oh, Protection 3, huh? You think a leather tunic of Protection 3 is going to do much help? Hey, there's a, a button in here. What the heck is that all about? Okay, well... Nope, I'm not going to get any water. What? A lodestone, eh? Let's see what this does. Oh my god, I won! I didn't even realize this was the end. Guys, I actually won. It's actually perfect timing. An hour and a half this took me. Screwing around, building. All I had to do was come to this little underwater area here. Press this button. And I won. I didn't even know there was an ending to this. I, I just thought, you know, with survival items, you just survive forever. But this one actually had an ending. Hey, I'm satisfied with that. Now, there is definitely other content with... The huge monuments but there's nothing that's telling me i couldn't just go down here straight away so that's actually a perfect time to leave this off 
so I can actually do some other stuff. But yeah, thank you all for watching, and thank you, CatKid71, for making this map. I'm glad that I actually finished it without even realizing there was a finish. So, very cool. I also saw that he did a skyblock map, so Cat Kid, if there's an ending to that that I can win, tell me so I know. But yeah, anyone else that has any other map suggestions, always comment below, especially you Cat Kid. Hey, that's pretty good.